What's going on everybody? My name is Anime72. Welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Melee Event Matches. I don't really have a special name for this, it's just me playing through some event matches while I talk about whatever I want. Um, so, as you're gonna notice, I did get the custom save file. I have access to everything now, even all the event matches, but we're not gonna, you know, jump ahead. We're gonna go back to right where we were. And last time where we left off, from episode 2, we were at Trophy Tussle 1. Now, this episode is going to be a little different because I kind of have a topic that I kind of want to discuss. And because of this topic, I am mainly going to pick Pikachu. I don't remember the last time I've ever picked Pikachu, but I'm going to pick Pikachu and let's see how it is. So what I want to talk about today is uh, the case with Pokebob 1. That's the guy who, if you watch my recent videos, the Smashing Parody ones, those videos have been inspired by that guy. He is no longer on YouTube, but you can still find remnants of him on the internet if you just search his name, if you Google search his name, and his videos are on other websites, but those videos are down too. And you can find videos of other people who did stuff with them, like say Super Smash Brothers online stuff back in the day. I can, I can talk and play. So I think I uh, yeah I did the kill everybody. Okay, so I I found it very fascinating that for one, his videos weren't anywhere available on the internet, of course, because when you delete your channel, your videos go with you, and I'm pretty sure there's there's no way of getting those videos back. Apparently, though, somebody either backed up his whole entire video archive, which I don't I honestly don't remember how many videos he made. He made a bunch of Nintendo. I guess, I don't know how to describe it, like, he, he did some Paper Mario parody sketch stuff, or like some text boxes, this is like the, um, early, like, this is like 2008-2009 era, okay, so, we're going to b back when some of you were just barely born. But, you know, I was there, and I watched some, some of the videos before he, what is it, I guess, got rid of his channel, which, I didn't know what happened, I was very intrigued. Because I kept doing research, and apparently, from what I got from doing my research, is he got bullied and he got harassed. I don't know how old the guy was. I'm sure he's older than me by now. I'd imagine at least by five years. But I kept asking around when I was going for... Uh, trying to find sound files of the one Luigi video about his uh, pool. Because at the end of that video... There's a section that he um, edited, which I, I now know how he did. I always wonder, how did he get that section? Because everyone parodies, not everyone, but a bunch of people parodies that Luigi... Well, it's not necessarily Luigi, but you know what I mean. It's that, it's that prank audio call. And they ended off with, um, do you understand me, you idiot? Do you understand me? And they ended off there because that's where the call ended off. But what Pokebob did is he took that... Um, audio from the newspaper where, where he goes, hello, 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 can you hear me? You know, he takes that audio. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he takes that audio. He reuses those hellos. And then he uses the Mama Luigi with Rest in Peace's voice actor. You know, um, his, his yell. Um, as I was finishing editing that, that thing up, I'm like, oh, so that's how he did it. Guy was... You know, it's simple video edit stuff, but I don't know, I, I just looked up to that type of stuff back in the day. Which is why I kind of do my own takes on them now. Which I'm still gonna put the... I don't honestly remember how many he made. I know he at least made three videos of that Luigi stuff. Which I, I hope you guys do enjoy. So, that'll... that's That one is definitely gonna take longer to make than the other ones. Let me see if I can focus on these guys. I do have more info though based off of the research I did because just one night I couldn't sleep and I'm like what happened to this man? What happened to Pokebob 1? Is he dead? <laughs> I like nothing like like he just you know fell off the face of the earth. Oh that's a red shell. Oh shoot. I am miniature by the way. Can I get Peach? I have info from somebody who was in contact with him apparently, which I apparently know the full story. Oh, nice. He 
He, he also, I guess he was mainly known for making these German Angry Kid videos. I don't know if anybody who's watching this knows of that. I don't know if he was the first one either. I, um, I watched one that somebody uh, was able to save. And from, from what I got... Wait, Pikachu doesn't have this move in Brawl. What the heck? What did they replace this with? Oh, it's like his air tilt. This is a good... Why doesn't anybody play Pikachu more in Melee? That good? Cool. So, what I got from that, um, from this comment, I have it right here, actually. Um, uh, it's by, because I, I YouTube search, um, Pokeball Boy, and there's this one video of him playing, um, Smash Bros. Brawl with his friends back in early 2009. And I told the guy, because I had assumed that he was in contact with them, you know, seeing as with Brawl you have to have their friend code and stuff, so you at least have to, and back then, this is like, way before the internet really took off, the internet personalities had, like, interactions with um you know people on the internet like like me for example me and myself when i um live stream on when i'm streaming you can just um give me your in this case nintendo id on the wii u and give me your id and i would accept it but back then not so much so you would have had to really know these guys which is why i assumed that the guy um knew him so that's why i asked and here is what he said Pokeball One was constantly getting stalked and harassed by his fans. He was working for Nintendo as an intern. They saw his videos and found it was inappropriate for children, so he got fired. Again, I have no idea. Wait, is this even the uploader? No, this is not the uploader. So this is by a user named I Am Dead. I have no idea if this is legitimate. Some of this could be legitimate, none of this could be legitimate, or everything could be legitimate, but I'm going to read it to you anyways because I thought it was interesting. On January... <laughs> I don't know where you got this information. On January of 2013, he was having problems with his mental health because of this. So a few months after this, he said F you to all of his fans and took down his channel. Seven months later, I guy, I guess he meant a guy, a guy called Rest in Peace Pokeball One uploaded two of Pokeball One's videos. Halloween AGK, which I assume is Angry German Kid, I never watched those, and a subscriber celebration video. His channel was later taken down upon the request of Pokebop 1. Then some random person emailed me his videos. I have it right now. However, the douche won't allow me to publicize them. He's still on YouTube, but I prefer not to give his account because he's violating his rights. Okay, so he kind of has some legitimacy there because I there is a playlist out there, like I think I mentioned before, where there is a playlist it is unlisted. No, it's private. There is 44 videos that Pokebop 1 made, and I think this is the guy, so I think he, I think he knows what he's talking about. I don't know how he knows his information, but he does. Ready? So he has some legitimacy right there. So he is... Boy, oh, I'm supposed to kill him with uh, this. That's gonna be interesting. Some legitimacy. It's it, it's just crazy, this story. Like, no one's ever talked about it. I, I'm like one of the, probably the only people that's talked about it. I just find it very... Like, where are these YouTubers? What are they doing now, you know? It's like those TV shows. So I just found that very interesting. Let's get these Kirby's. These bootleg Pac-Mans. Uh oh. You're under a time limit? You're under a time limit? <laughs> I didn't know that. And sad to say, when I was contacting people about um the parody sounds. Because if you go back to my poll video, uh the last part of the phone call. It's like potato quality. And because everybody recorded audio from like their, um, I don't, it's, they're, they're not smartphones, they're like Razer flip phones or something. I mean, you can look it up yourself and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the video title, but there's like two of them. And I sampled, um, both of them. Come on. I could have remade that last part, but I didn't find the exact, um, police sirens. That he used in that video, so I'm like, you know what? I can't find exactly what he did. I'm just gonna use this part. No one's gonna complain. I don't think so, and no one has up to this point. So, you know, I took a chance and recorded it off the uh, potato quality. All right, so now we are at Bounty Hunter event match. Me and Captain Falcon, which apparently, I don't know, I don't know how true this is. Apparently, Nintendo rejects the idea that Samus is a bounty hunter. The only 
publication of this was in Metroid's NES manual that labeled her as a bounty hunter in Nintendo of America, but apparently, this is just apparently, this has got to be wrong, apparently in Japan, they don't call her a bounty hunter. So, I think Nintendo of America doesn't call her a bounty hunter either. So, I mean, pick or choose? I could be completely wrong, maybe Federation Force... No, <laughs> who am I kidding? Federation Force doesn't do anything. Alright, so let's pick Link! Two more, I think. Oh, Mario, oh, Mario, Mario, oh, Mario. Oh, Dark Link, you see that anti alias thing? You see all that pixels right there? Um, that's basically my Pokebob 1 story. Nothing much to say. It's sad to hear that, like, harassers kind of got to the guy. At most, that's what I got. And this is at a time before. I have no idea if he, if he has a social media account. I assume now he does. I would really love to follow him. Because as silly as his videos were, and I'm sure you guys can testify to this too. Um, I guess varying on age. Okay, let me zoom out. Like, there's there's certain YouTubers that just inspire you to do stuff. And I would really like to, you know, at, at, at least say, you know, I, I watch your videos as a kid. And maybe um, ch check out this video inspired by you. You know, at the very least! <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever find him. I hope I do. I would love to just talk to him. That and what happened to that M A L R guy who did like those Brahma Shinma stuff too? He was it was also another inspiration, but you can still find all his stuff online. The only reason I'm making Pokebobs one stuff is because I really liked them as a kid, and you can't find them on YouTube anymore. I'm recreating them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll include. I guess I'll try out this YouTube card thing. I'll put a card right now to the Luigi Pull one. Um. Had fun making that. The fence one, I think, is gonna be the, the funnest one to make. Though I, I've said this before, I think. I said this at least on a. Oh, wait, stop it. I've said this on a live stream, at least. I gotta remember that C Stick doesn't do anything. That I feel like, you know, it's a product of its time. I'm not adding anything extra. The style is, the, is gonna be the same. But I feel like it's, it's kind of lazy just doing like a like picture in picture with like maybe some markings to indicate that he's angry. In my opinion, back then it's okay, but in my opinion, I don't want to do that. I want movement. But again, the only reason why I'm doing this is because it's a remake. All right, Peach's Peril. We got to see this big. Not we're, we're, we're not saving him. We're saving Peach. It's an escort mission. Cynical, no! I'm sorry I took off your icon for my account, but times change, things change! Gotta move on! Oh shoot, take this. Pokeball, no! Peach! Can you survive? Okay, good. Oh, this is. Ooh. Man, where's. Why can't Brawl be this interesting? Okay, Ooh. it's not good. I wonder if I can keep it. I wonder if I can keep it. Oh no. Wonder if I can keep it. Nope. How am I gonna? I could just dunk. The does it work in this game? Uh. Oh! Wait! <laughs> I was gonna say, can you footstool in this game? Okay. It's honestly been a while since I played this. Okay. For sure, a while. So I don't know all the mechanics. I I'm pretty sure you can footstool. All right, let's get this guy. Oh. Maybe I should have given that to Peach. All right, let me grab. So long, so long, Gabe Bowser. <laughs> he does the same thing. I love how they keep the animations true to the games they're based off of. Like Bowser is being direct. That that Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, is an effect right here. This is the precursor to that game. Am I small? No, I think I'm regular size. Just that Bowser is. Okay, I can do that. It's, oh, that doesn't really do anything. Not to the big Bowser. Oh, there you go. Bye. So long. Oh, you have two lives? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. You have two lives? I thought that was it. That's why I taunted. Like, stroking my mustache. Okay, start off with the fireball. Get that damage. Get that damage. Down tilt. Down tilt. Okay, you're kind of like Lucas. No, not really. Smash, 
Smash, smash, smash. Keep bringing the hurt. Oh, I have my down B. Oh, it's over now. Oh, it's over. You know, kind of like how Bowser's do on 4 Glory. You do the down B. Is that Bowser? Okay. Alright, let's hope. Well, Chansey just throws like she doesn't do anything. Oh, we, oh, we definitely got this. So long, gay Bowser. Oh, nice. Whoa, that wasn't nice on me. How much will a throw do? Why don't you find a... Melee mechanics are definitely different. I still really like this game. It's a good game! Oh, are you kidding me? Wait a second! How the... Wait! He had one life there. I don't understand. So wait, how, how did I lose that other one? Oh, because Peach died, right. That's what it was. So I have to kill him within the time limit. No, I just have to keep Peach safe for a minute. That's it. Okay, I didn't read the description immediately. But I assume it's just like, you know, save Princess Peach! Save Princess Peach! Peach, save me! <laughs> Bowser's after Peach again. Guard her until time runs out. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. We can, we can do just that. Can you imagine like Smash Balls were in this game? Which Smash Balls were originally going to be introduced in... Or they were thinking about it. Oh no, that's not good at all. Oh! They're, they were originally thinking about doing super moves in Super Smash Bros. 64. Because there are sound clips of Ness saying PK Storm. Or no, yeah, PK Star Storm. It sounds very compressed. PK Star Storm! It sounds very compressed. If you go back to it, just look up. I forget, like, unused Super Smash Brothers 64. Oh, this works. This works. Get away. Alright. This makes it to where I can't get any more damage. Invisible Man, go. I can do this! No! Where <laughs> oh, this is, this is fun. Like, we're, like, exchanging fists. I can do this. Oh, no! You're kidding me! <laughs> Luck! Luck! <laughs> Star KOs, thank you! Sakurai from above, thank you. Alright, I think we're gonna cut it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, Sorry to those who didn't enjoy my little Pokebob 1 rant, but I felt like somebody had to talk about it because to me it was a very interesting history and in way that I got information. I actually had access to his videos. Um, there's a website, I think it's the same 44 videos that the guy archives on YouTube that's private, I think he uploaded to another website because I have 44 of those videos. But none of those videos, it's a bunch of angry German kid videos and some other stuff, but none of those videos are the videos I wanted, like the one with Lu Lu Luigi phone pranks, sadly. I have some, and they're in decent quality, they're like 360p, not like the one I based off of, which was like 144p that I downloaded off, I think, videofinder.com. I don't even know if that website is even up anymore. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will put videos up here right now so you can watch, I guess. Thank you all, again. And if you enjoy, definitely consider sharing, subscribing, and liking. YouTube likes that, and that helps my channel out. So thank you once again, and I'll see you next time for more Smash Brothers Monado Jump. Speed! I'm on sp I need to take some speed.